Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2 36 from RC Hippeler Engineering Statics 12 edition. According to this problem, if phi equals to 30 degrees and F2 is equal to 3 kN, determine the magnitude of the resultant force acting on the plate and its direction theta measured clockwise from the positive x axis. So, to solve this problem, First of all, we have to resolve all the forces into their components. So I have F1 force which is directed like this. Now this force has one horizontal component and one vertical component. This is F1 sine 30 degrees and this is F1 cos 30 degrees. For the force F2, I have also two components, one vertical component and one horizontal component. This right here is F2 sine phi and this is F2. Cos phi. Now for the force F3, I have one vertical component acting downwards and one horizontal component like this. This is F3. Let's call this angle right here alpha. This is F3 sine alpha, and this is F3 cos alpha. Now we have to resolve all the forces into their components. Now for the angle alpha, consider. 3, 4, 5 triangle which is like this. So alpha is this angle. We have 5, 4 and 3. So if I apply 10 alpha is equals to 4 upon 3, then alpha is equals to 53.13 degrees. So now Let's write F1, F2 and F3 in Cartesian vector form. Now we can write F1, F2 and F3 in terms of Cartesian vector form. So for the force F1, I have negative F1 sin 30i. It is negative because the horizontal component of F1 force is directed in the negative x-axis and minus F1 cos 30j because it is also directed in the negative y axis and for the force F2 I have F2 cos phi and phi is 30 degrees so we have 30i plus F2 sin 30j Now for the force F3, I have F3 sine alpha and alpha is 53.13 degrees I plus F3 cos 53.13 degrees.
it is f3 cos 53.13 degrees j now we can write it as the horizontal component of the resultant force is equal to the sum of the horizontal components of the individual forces so we have frx is equal to negative f1 sin 30 plus f2 cos 30 plus f3 sin 53.13 degrees now f1 is equals to force newtons and f2 is equals to 3 kilo newtons and f3 is equals to 5 kilo newtons so frx becomes negative 4 sin 30 plus 3 cos 30 plus 5 sin 53.13 degrees so frx is equals to 4.6 kilo newtons Now for the vertical component of the resulting force I have FRY is equal to some of the forces, some of the vertical components of the individual forces. So we have FRY is equal to negative F1 cos 30 plus F2 sin 30 plus this should be negative this is negative because it is directed downwards so it is negative so we have negative F3 cos 53.13 degree now we know that F1 is equal to 4 kN, F2 is equal to 3 kN, and F3 is equal to 5 kN. So FRY is equal to negative 4.96 kN. Now for the magnitude, now for the magnitude of the resultant force, F bar is equal to F bar x, the whole square, plus F bar y, whole square. We have 4.6 square plus negative 4.96 square is equals to 6.76 kN. This is our first answer. Now for the angle theta. If I draw some perpendicular axis right here to show the resultant force, then we have this is FRx. And this is FRY and this is the resultant force. We have to find this angle right here, theta, between the resultant force and the positive x axis. Now for the angle theta, we can apply the, the relation of tan theta. So we have tan theta is equals to 
f bar y divided by f bar x. Now we are just using the magnitudes. So we have 4.96 divided by 4.6. So theta is equals to 47.16 degrees. So this is our second answer. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.